Yo, what's up, sexy simulator squad? I'm doing a custom game with the viewer. His name is Zappy Doodle. If you want to get a chance to play against me in a custom game for a video, for any kind of new content that comes out, all you have to do is join my Discord channel, which should be in the link in the description. Enough of that, though. This is basically my first look. I've never seen anything about Atlas. All I know is he's big, and he doesn't do any damage. That's all that I've that that's all that's been told to me. So naturally, okay, you talk a lot, homie. Please stop talking. Jesus, talk so much. I'm gonna get one of every ability. So I'm also gonna put them on quick cast because I don't exactly know what they do yet. Uh, Alice throws his astrolabe to a target location, damaging slowing enemies where it lands while deployed. His basic attacks. Will cause an explosion at the target area that damages all enemies. So basically like Zeus 2. Explosion deals 40% damage to minions. Cost 5 mana to use after 5 seconds. When he refires his ability, Astrolabe will return him. Uh, second ability changes based on whether his Astrolabe is deployed or held. So that's his 2. Alice pulls enemies towards his Astrolabe. Enemy gods who are too close get pulled into Astrolabe. If Atlas is holding the Astrolabe, enemies get pulled into the Astrolabe. Get held in front of Atlas after a brief delay. The... Held targets get launched in the direction of At Atlas is facing. If Atlas is throwing the Astrolabe, enemies who get pulled into the Astrolabe will get held by the Astrolabe's location before being launched towards Atlas. So if I throw it, and then I use my two, they go that way. Oh, and my, my auto attacks. Hello. Oh, God. What did that do? <laughs> I pressed three. I didn't know what it did. Charges forward each ally god. He charges near while have their burdens removed, cleansing them of any current slows, increasing the movement speed of Atlas collides with enemy. You will release uh, accumulated burdens at an explosion for every burden accumulated. The slows increase from by 25% up to a maximum. How do I get a burden? When he takes damage, he accumulates 1.25 energy in his astrolabe. Minions provide one tenth of the energy. When he reaches 20 energy, his next basic attack does 1.5 times damage, 1.5 second swing time, and deals bonus damage in an area in front of him. Gods hit our trouble for two seconds while minions are stunned. Holy shit. There's a lot to this god. Okay, so how do I pick him up? Though? So how, how do I... Does this do damage? Does not do damage? Oh, he has AOE auto. So is it only if he's like really close? Hmm. So what does my ult do? Um. Oh, that's kind of sick. What the hell? There's the sky thunder. It calls forth a gamma ray burst. Enemies in, in this area are hit every 0.5 seconds to gain a stack of radiation. Radiation stacks up to uh, seven times, lowers the enemy's protection and power. After five seconds or upon refire, the gamma burst will focus in power and begin traveling across the battleground. Enemies hit by this focused ray take heavier damage and gain focused radiation, lowering protections and power equal to equal to three stacks of radiation. Oh, okay, got it. Holy shit. This god feels like... What's up? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, it feels like, what's up? So, if I... If I... Do my two... And then I... Throw my one... Um... Is that how I throw minions? Or not minions, I'm sorry. Enemies? I feel like he's an auto-attack based god. Am I dumb? Uh, hello? Well, that worked out better than I expected. Um... So if I use my one... My real question is... When I play this god, am I supposed to be... Obviously, it's got a slow, it's got a base explosion. 
plus six per level, right? Damage dealt. The scaling is garbage. He's got garbage scaling everywhere. Okay, though. Um, it's it's the combination between the one and the two that I don't understand. So when you throw the one, when you throw the one, and then you press the one again, it comes back to you, right? Obviously, I know that. When I use the two, I pick him up if he's super close. Okay, so this thing is going off, which means I think I have the power auto. It did mean I have the power auto. And if I use my two while my astrolabe is out there, then that means... They get pulled towards that, right? And I can do this whenever I want. Okay. Okay. I'm slowly understanding. Now, does the astrolabe when it when it when you detonate it with your auto attack while it's thrown out there, does it have auto attack effects like telekines demonic stuff like that that's what i'm gonna test out it does proc faster um does proc faster with more attack speed so that is something to keep in mind And what is the what is the further pulls enemy gods towards his astrolabe? But if they're too close, then it picks them up. Okay, that's what I was wondering because I was wondering how how am I actually picking them up? Because sometimes I just pull him close, and sometimes I just pick him up. And to throw him, they just get launched in the direction Atlas is facing. Atlas gets has thrown the astrolabe. Enemies get pulled. Okay, so I do this and then two they just get pulled closer understood ouch that hurt me i want to use my three on him but i'm not exactly sure why Oh shit, I just wasted my my power auto. How do I know when my stacks of burdens? Like how do I know how many burdens I have? Is that my my passive is not my burden. My passive is just an amount of energy, I believe. Not enough to kill him there because I didn't actually get the pickup. It's so difficult to get the pickup because, well, at least against Kabraken. Because you don't want to die. <laughs> Does this do good damage? 259. Not horrible damage. Get the red buff. I'll come over here. I will probably just alt this. Okay, that does not do a lot of damage. Does not do a lot of damage. It only does good damage if they are actually in 
the radius where you drop it. Okay, now I get to see if this actually procs telekines. Doesn't. Okay, that does make me kind of sad. Ow. Hmm. So telekines is useless. Makes me slightly upset. It just kind of like I want to say it explodes, but it it's not enough damage to call it an explosion. I mean, it says it's basically that would cause an explosion at the target that deals damage all enemies. Um, quarter percent damage to minions cost five mana to use after five seconds. Okay. So my question is. If you don't build him auto attack and you don't build him, uh, you don't build him auto attack and you don't hit build him ability base, then how are you supposed to do any damage? How do you, how do you do damage? I want to see how far this range is. Let's see how far that shoots. Oh, very far? Holy shit, that goes across like the whole map, dude. On me. I feel like the only way I get a kill here is if he all ins me and then I just pick him up under my tower, throw him under my tower. If I dash into him, what happens? Me. He releases accumulated burdens in an explosion. I, wish, I really wish I knew what the what the burdens were. That's my issue. Okay. I mean, that worked out. Ow. Excuse you? That 2-1 combo just did... Uh... 300... So th that that itself did 700 plus the poly. Okay, so that bursted me for a thousand damage. So I'm gonna do something crazy, and I'm gonna do something that I never do, and that's build defense. And then I'm gonna go divine. Your middle tower is under attack. Hmm. So I can actually send it back my direction. Come crashing down. I really wish that if you took the astrolabe back, that it would lower the cooldown a little bit. Blinked over the wall and took my blue. I did not mean I did not mean to use my two like that. I meant to pick him up. I should have called back the astrolabe before I did that. Go 
Does he have enough mana? Okay. Well, that scared me. It actually did work out, though. We actually did get the kill because I was able to pick him up before he got his ability off. I want to go Toxic Blade, and I want to just get as much anti-heal as I can on him because he's stacking healing a lot. Now, what did the most damage? My 2 did the most damage. My ult did only 120. My three did 118 when I ran into him. So it looks like my two is basically my only source of power. Like ouchy ouchy damage. Not today. I do have my powerful auto. That was actually good damage. That was actually really good damage. I did use my face and ram him, ram my face into him for some damage. It actually worked out. Now, how will I know? I definitely need cooldown reduction, by the way. That's a mistake I've been making this whole time. I need cooldown. But I, how will I know? Um, will I know when I can actually deal damage with my three? Or does it just always deal damage? We did get his alt there though. So even though I'm a little bit not that healthy, at least he doesn't have his alt to hurt me. Oh, I missed. That's not good. Oh, that is not good at all. I missed my thing. I missed my thing. I actually, like, I just... Uh, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, so if I go Chronos Pendant, which obviously I'm going to go, Chronos Pendant plus Boomba's Hammer will give me max cooldown, but... I feel as though... My damage is very... Bad? Like, my one hits him... I, I have... Divine Ruin. I have Divine Ruin, and I have... Uh... Oh god, get away from me. Okay, he lived, but he will die to my Titan. Or he won't die to my Titan. All right. Well, we did kill him. Thank you, Phoenix. Thank you, thank you, Phoenix. Red buff. Oh, it is up. Yeah. I keep thinking your three will do damage to minions, but it doesn't. 
and I keep messing that up and using my three anyways, so then it doesn't do anything, and I'm like, wait a second. Does this do damage when it pulls them? It does. Okay. Good to know. That's going to help with my clear. Uh, his blink is down, so I'm going to do this. I feel like the one is only useful when you initially throw it. By the way, I'm only going to get tier one chrono spending here instead of, instead of tier two because I want to be able to get uh, Umba's hammer next. So this is good. You want to do like auto at once and then you want to pulse it. And that's how you clear. Okay, so I got the clear down. I got the clear down. Only took 20 minutes, but I actually think I understand his kit now. Right when he gets bold demon. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. However, maybe it doesn't matter. Probably going to blink on me here. Now that he has defense, I can't help but feel like I do nothing. Oh, it... If you use your two when he's in it... It picks him up. Oh... Oh, I am so deceased. I am so deceased. Watch that way, please. Oh, I'm too big. I couldn't get past, man. I'm too big. I couldn't get past the minion wave. Damn it. Well, shit. Uh, do you die here? No. Live. But you also lowered my Titan down so much that I don't think it matters. And also, I can't clear the wave. Okay. I tried using the Boomba's hammer a lot, but my attack speed is so slow that it's kind of difficult. Also takes so much to clear a wave with this god. I think, can I just be honest? I think this is the worst god they've ever came out with on release. I don't see any appeal to this god. He doesn't do damage. He's not like overly good at really anything. Like he's not good at peeling other, I mean, I guess he kind of is, right? He can pick gods up, but. So can like Fenrir, <laughs> you know, like you can pick gods up more than more often than Fenrir. I uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not that dumb, but I don't know, man. I just don't see the appeal. The appeal to this God in particular. Maybe it's just not a dual God. What if we just say that? What if we just say maybe He's just bad at duel. I don't know, what's up? Oh, he ulted. He ulted. Come crashing down.
You wanna fight me? Did he have red buff on? I actually wasn't paying attention. Yeah, he did. That's fine. Let's go. Let's actually go. I I literally okay. I found it. I found what I've been missing this whole time. Whether it be brain cells or strategy, I'm not sure, but I found what I was missing. And it's the fact that the only way to do damage with this character, literally the only way, is by alting you alt your feet and then you pick him up and you hold him in your alt that will stack up the protection debuff or what is it called the radiant stacks that will stack up the radiant stacks and then you detonate those radiant stacks by throwing the alt it actually did 500 damage that time again i don't know if it's brain cells that i was missing or if it was strategy but i found it baby Get away from me. Go forth. Gonna blink on me. But oh, thank you. Nope. You will get away from that. You will not take my tower my tower like that. I refuse to let you. Look, even though I found out how to actually do damage with him, I'm I I still just blatantly honest. I still think he's the worst god ever released. Damage-wise. Like He's a guardian. I'm not dumb. He shouldn't be doing that much damage. But to do nothing seems pretty bad. <laughs> uh ow. I will say I quite do like the um the slam auto attack. It does a lot of damage. I don't know how to turn it on other than sometimes it works. Um It's whenever he gets enough energy. But you don't really know when he has enough energy until this thing starts rolling. It doesn't have like a bar to it, I guess. Like I know because now now that it's like rolling like that, I know now that I have the auto attack, so I can walk over here and I can like ah yeah. Um. But what I don't know is how to charge that up the fast. He's getting more defense. Okay. That's fair. That is fair. He sold his his vamp shroud. What the heck, dude? My blue buff. I wanted that. I do not have my big auto attack here. I now have my big auto attack. I pick him up and chuck him. I'm just going to keep spamming everything I have.
Um. No. No. I tried to peel him off of me so hard. Oh, he got bulwark. That's why. He got bulwark. All right. So he's got he's got talisman and bulwark. I'm going to assume. I mean, he still has double lifesteal too. So I feel like I need toxic blade. I'm going to go ahead and sell toxic blade. I'm going to go into the penetration tree here. Go the the Karan's coin. I could go Soul Reaver maybe. Soul Reaver might be good. Got so much HP. Do I sell all anti heal? That sounds bad. I'm gonna try it. I mean, I'm pretty sure you do not win. Go no, you're so fast. No, you're so fast. Let's go. Actually got the kill. Um... Oh, red buff's not up. It's fine. <sighs> okay, we actually got the kill. Caron's coin gave me what for that kill? HP 5? His blink is down, and I think his alt is probably back up, but that's something we'll deal with when we get there. At least when he's not here, I can clear the wave, you know? It's really bad when your enemy is not next to you and you still can't clear the wave. That's how you know you're SOL. But right now... Dude, the auto attack charge up when you have the slam, the 1.5 second slam time for the auto attack right here is actually what just lost me the game. That's actually what just lost me the game because I would have killed him had that had that Boomba's proc gone off, but it didn't go off because of the long slam time. Oh man. Oh man. I understand it, right? Like I, I definitely, I played that fight really well. I ulted and I picked him up. I kept him in the ult and then I fought him. I did six Boomba's auto resets, which normally in a fight you do like three or four. So six is crazy. I hit everything. Unfortunately for me, the slam time just was too much for the Boomba's procs. I, okay, so here are my thoughts on the God. I think, one, he does way too little damage. Like just straight up. I shouldn't be able to build Soul Reaver, Book of Thoth, uh, Chronos Pendant, and Charon's Coin, and my alt do 300 damage. I just that just should not happen, even as a guardian. You should be able to do some sort of damage. So I think you have to up his scaling a little bit. Um, 
Maybe like not even that much, like 5%. If you just do a 5% scaling increase across the board, he does 20% more damage overall. If you hit his whole combo, that's good. Like that, that's, that's more than enough. So I think his damage needs to be scaled up a little bit. His CC, the more I played him, the more I understood the CC, I guess. But his one is, is, I mean, it's just not good. It, it doesn't clear the wave again because of the damage. But the fact that the one doesn't proc auto attack items, I think is the biggest thing. Because if it did, you could at least build to clear the wave. So that you could have some sort of a chance in like a dual scenario, obviously. The two is good, actually. I, th I don't think the two needs to be changed. I think the two, if they're really close, picks them up and throws them. If they're only a little bit close, then it pulls them towards you. I think that's actually balanced. And I think the damage on the two is balanced too, believe it or not. I don't think... I think a CC ability like the two shouldn't be able to do that much damage. So I actually think the two overall is really balanced. The three is weird because it only does damage if you ram your face into an enemy. <laughs> As a guardian, I understand that. It's kind of like Sobek pluck, except you're not actually throwing them. You're just ramming your face into them. Um, I understand that. And I actually don't think it's bad. I would love to do a conquest with Atlas because his, his three removes... I think it removed all CC effects, right? Or maybe it's just some CC effects. Let me look. Cleansing them of any current slow. Yeah, okay. So it's only slows. So it's only slows. Okay. All right. So I understand the burdens now. So when you, cle when you cleanse an allied god of a slow, you gain a burden. A burden is obviously their slow. It's now your burden. When you collide with an enemy god, you release the burden blowing the enemy god. Understood. So in duel, you cannot slow the enemy god. In duel, all this does, literally all this does, is this damage count. That's all you see in duel. So I was I was confused by the burden thing and the slow and the movement speed increase and stuff. All you, you see in this is duel or all you see in duel is this damage number, which, oh, no, actually, again, like with an extra 5% scaling, I think it would be okay. You scaled the one 5%, you scaled the three 5%. The two's fine. Like I said, I think two's great. The alt, this is what needs the biggest change, I think. Everything else is fine. Like the low damage on everything else is like, okay, whatever, he's a guardian is what it is. And um, I think... The one needs to be changed. The two is perfect. The three is pretty good. Um, the passive, weird, but works. So can't complain. Uh, but the alt sucks. The alt needs to be changed. Because the fact that it takes five seconds. Obviously, you can refire it whenever you want. But in order to fully charge up, and you're going to want to do that in team fights, um, The fact that it takes five seconds to fully charge up. And its damage is so tiny. So literally 25 damage, really. <laughs> for real <laughs> it, come on it's ridiculous um they take heavier damage I, I, that's good but he seems like he can't be left to his own devices like he needs to be with at least two or three other people which obviously he's made for conquest the whole game is based around conquest I know that but even still, it's like a 5% protect, protection shred and a 2% power reduction. That's not really going to do anything. Like, uh, it stacks up right here, equal to three stacks of reduction, right? So, like, or radiation. So, obviously, it would be 15% protection shred, protection shred and 6% um, power reduction. But, I mean, first off, 6% power reduction is nothing. No matter how you look at it, that's nothing. Like, uh, oh, what is it? There used to be an item. I forget the name of the item. There used to be an item that would take 20% of their power away when you hit it, when you hit them with it. It was a relic. It was ridiculous. 
they took it out of the game. It was pretty strong, but 6% is, it's not even half of that. So bad. And 15% proc shred, basically like a void shield. Like instead of ulting, just buy a void shield. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like how all you, all you have to do in order to have a character better than Atlas in your game is pick Hercules and buy void shield. He doesn't fit the role very well, man. He is super cool looking though. I got out. Look, I'll admit that he is super cool looking. I want to know what you guys think about him because I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks this. I've heard a lot in my chat when like during the 24 hour stream, a lot of people were talking about Atlas and how horrible he was. I was expecting that to be just satire. Like there's no way he's that bad. These guys are trolling thing. He's horrible to get a laugh out of me. Right. Um, I actually think he's bad. I really do. I think his damage needs to go up and I think his one needs to be changed. And his alt just like double it. Actually double it. Maybe not the focus damage. The focus damage is fine, but the tick damage you need to double for sure. But again, those are my thoughts. Uh, I want you to tell me your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, peace.